Reports of sexual assault in the military continue to climb. The latest figures from 2018 are 20,500 reported cases, and that's up from just under 15,000 in 2016. The Defense Department says it has already taken significant steps to address sexual assaults, but many in Congress remain unconvinced. Eyewitness News Washington, D.C. correspondent Bree Jackson has more. The Defense Department admits the battle against sexual assaults within the military is far from over. Sexual assault is a tragic crime when it does occur. And the most recent reporting shows it's occurring more frequently. 38% more sexual assaults in 2018 than 2016. Sean Skelly is with the National Commission on Military, National and Public Service. She says training and prevention programs aren't doing enough to hold offenders and the people they report to accountable. Sensitivity is involved in having two people who both work for the same supervisors or same leaders involved in that way makes it um, much more difficult to get to, to get to the truth. Lawmakers have held hearings and roundtables to get a better understanding of what's causing the increase in sexual assault cases. Some say it's partly due to more victims coming forward without fear of retaliation. I hope so, because I believe that there are many victims um, that basically suffer in silence. Senator Tom Tillis is a co-sponsor of the Combating Military Sexual Assault Act. He says the proposed legislation would increase resources for victims and improve how sexual assault cases are tracked and shared. If it has to do with accountability of keeping the victim's reports private if, if the victim chooses to not disclose it. Tillis says it would also put a spotlight on the role military leaders play during the legal process. And the way that they go about making decisions to actually move forward with a conviction. Lawmakers and military leaders say they're focused on ending sexual assault and harassment and protecting those who serve. In Washington, Bree Jackson.